Hey everyone, how y'all doing? I got a Kubi knife unboxing today. Um, this is actually my first Kubi. I think I did a Kubi knife a couple years ago on the channel. I think it was my son's knife. And I think Kubi is a OEM of the Tempest Knives Pinion, which is just a phenomenal knife. Great action. Um, very well built. So if this thing's anything like the pinion, this is going to be good. Um, this is model KU122H D2 G10 color red. Um, this has been out for a year or so and it kind of made the rounds on YouTube back then. And I kind of, I think I missed it because I just kind of noticed it and I just really liked it so I ended up buying it and let's get this thing open nice dirty box knife is in plastic there's a card so this little card this is the info on back. I don't know if you can read it from a net camera or not, but so it is sealed up. And the knife I started out carrying today is the Civivi Elementum 2 button lock. Pretty awesome knife. But I have a feeling this one's going to take over. Um, get that stuff out of the way so here it is I got the rod with a black blade and black hardware I thought that was just freaking cool looking kind of gives off Darth Maul vibes um, yeah nice G10 it's got some texture to it not, not overly rough or anything but feels good um, does have a deep carry pocket clip and it is reversible so that's cool flathead flathead screws the clips sits on top it looks pretty narrow in there so we'll see how that works but this is just an unboxing my first impressions Feel weight feels good um, has a Deployment hole, thumb hole, let's see I can, wow, oh that snapped right out, check it out, I just really liked the whole design, I like the blade, the handle, just the overall profile of it, I thought it was pretty, pretty cool, um, it is G10, or G10 handles, D2 steel, Man, that just feels very thin behind the edge. Nice, pretty dainty, pokey, stabby tip. Um, full flat grind. It's got a pretty cool black stone wash finish. I mean, wipe some of the oil off. It's got a little bit of oil on it. But yeah, that looks pretty good. It's got the Kubi logo right there. That's in a good spot. Um, D2 on that side. So that's all the branding on the blade. <clears throat> Feels pretty good in hand. I get all four fingers on there. Nice and solid purchase. Um, thumb ramp. Excellent jimping. I like the jimping. So that's great. Um, guess you can choke up a little bit. Do fine detailed work, you know, but there's not much room. So it's basically you're gonna hold it back here. <clears throat> Very comfortable. I don't feel that pocket clip. Um so that's pretty that's pretty nice. See how it closes. Nice and smooth. Um a little shake shut, not much. In fact, probably one 
one good little flick, one or two little flicks, centering. Uh, you can see, but it is dead center. Um, I really do like this red and black. Wow, that just that middle finger flicks excellent. Thumb flick is excellent. Nice slow roll. It doesn't get get away from you. That's that's good. Um, detent is good. It's not it's not super heavy, but wow, just enough to rocket it right out. Like I said, you can slow roll. Slow roll it open while it's jumping ahead of you, like some knives do, with a heavier detent. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Index finger flick it. Yep. Middle finger flick. That's made for the middle finger flick, let me tell you. Um, I can ring finger flick it. I don't know if I can pinky flick it, maybe. Yeah, reversed I can. Um, wow. Fit and finish is excellent. I feel no sharp, <clears throat> no sharp edges on the scales, the liners. Stainless steel liners, they are milled out. Um, rides on ceramic ball bearings, nice and smooth, holy cow. Um, yeah, I'm digging this. It's got, go over dimensions a little bit. 7.28 inches overall length, like I said, it's not a huge knife. But it fits in my hand pretty good. Blade is 3.11 inches. D2, like I said. I'm kind of tired of D2 buying this. It's okay. Full flat grind. And I tell you, feels very thin behind the edge. Very thin tip. Um, and I could be doing any, any real prying or anything with the tip of this one um, 3.11 inch blade blade stock is 0 0.12 handle is 4.17 inches long 0 0.51 inches thick so it's a little bit thicker it's more hand filling feels very lightweight um, it's listed at 3.28 ounces I get Let me get the scale level. I get 3.6. So it weighs more than what Knife Center said it did. And this is where I, that's where I ordered it. It was from Knife Center. Um, yeah, I just saw this. And I thought, man, that is so cool looking. I dig the red and black. They also have a blue G10 with black blade. Um, what else they got? Black. They got an orange with a satin finished blade. Or a stone wash maybe. They got several different colors anyways. And pretty cheap. $38.95 is what I paid. Um, less than 40 bucks. I'm not complaining. Right now, I am definitely not complaining about it. I do have a piece of paper. Let's see. Wow. Wow. Oh. I actually, I touched myself right there. Peeled the skin back a little. This thing is super, super sharp. Very, very slicey. Love it. Sometimes I like a heavier, thicker bladed knife, you know, for heavier use. Other times 
I just kind of want a nice thin slicer and yeah, got a little cardboard. That's cutting that. No issues, no problem. Yeah. That's pretty super. Um, <clears throat> do some size comparisons real fast. Um, put it up against the bug out. Pretty close. You got about the same blade length. Overall, almost the same handle length. Pretty close. Um, how about Spyderco? Native 5 lightweight definitely it's bigger than a Native 5 similar blade shape right kind of drop point spear point leaf shape style blade um, that feels this feels thinner behind the edge than the Native 5 lightweight which um, this has been sharpened a few times Spy 27 steel on that. How about the Civivi Elementum button lock? The Kubi is a little longer than the button lock. And put up against the CJRB Pyrite. And they're pretty, they're pretty close overall length um, yeah so this is model 122 or the name is Coyus C-O-E-U-S and I looked it up on Google in a pronunciation thing where you can listen to it they say Coyus Coyus Coyos I guess Koi O's and they, they spelled it K O Y O W S. So Koyos. Kubi Koyos. Um, but yeah, I'm digging it. Nice, super slicey. I like the black stone wash blade. That looks pretty good. But yeah, check these out. Like I said, they've been out for about a year. Again, I'm kind of. Behind the behind on this, I just kind of discovered it. Lock up, lock up is good. Absolutely no play. But so doesn't have a flipper tab or anything. But this little tab right there, they'll come down, land on your finger. Bam. Nice. Like I said, centering is dead down the middle. Yeah, really nice and comfortable. Can't wait to use this. So be on the lookout for another video on this after I have it for a while. I have to do follow-up videos on the... Uh, um, CJRB Pyrite and the Civivi Elementum 2 button lock. Both are awesome knives. A little bit different styling than this one. But I, I dig it. I like the black and red. Like I said, kind of gives off Darf Ball vibes, sinister vibes, you know. But yeah, guess I'll do it. Just an unboxing, my very first impressions, and like I said, be on the lookout for follow-up videos, and I guess I'll do it for this. Um, I dig it. I like it. <clears throat> um, do the usual like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff if you haven't, and until the next video, bye.